Hey everyone, it is Corey here and welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're gonna to be cooking up something a little bit different. We're gonna be making ceviche. So ceviche can be many, many different things and I'll kind of talk about that as we go along. But there are certain core ingredients. There's always gonna be your, your seafood, there's gonna be your limes, there's gonna be some onions and then something to make it kind of crunch. Um, in this case though, we are gonna be making quick ceviche and maybe at some point I'll take you down the road and we'll make a, a more traditional um, ceviche but this one I'm we're doing quick this one should take about 30 minutes start to actually being able to, to plate it and serve it so let's go so in this case we're using some cooked shrimp I've got about six ounces of cooked shrimp here I find that when you're doing it per person it's about four ounces of, of uh, seafood um, but in this situation, if you're making it more like an appetizer, it's about six ounces of seafood. It's gonna take probably four, uh, four limes. I only have two here. It all depends on how much juice is in your lime. It's gonna take about a, f about a fourth of an onion and a, probably a couple of, um, a couple of um, stalks of celery here. I like to do it proportionally. It's, it's difficult because there's, even though there's recipes out there, it doesn't allow for proportions. Uh, to be kind of the way that I want it. So the great thing about ceviche is it's it's whatever you want and you can modify it accordingly. So let me go ahead and get this all cut up a little bit and we'll come back and I'll talk about changes or differences that I've had personally and how you may want to change it so that you like it better. So let me get to it though. All right, so done chopping all this up. So let me go ahead and go to a pitcher real quick and kind of show you the ratio that I used. So as you can see from this picture, the, the, the ratio that I used is I prefer about 50% meat, about one fourth celery to give some crunch, and then the one fourth uh, of onion. So I have that onion flavor and crunch as well. Um, I like crunch in mine. Some people, and this is where we get into the weeds, right? Some people like to have avocado in theirs. I don't put like avocado because I don't like the creaminess of it. Although I, I like avocados in general, just not in my ceviche. Um, and then there's other options. Uh, do you want jalapeno or some sort of pepper like I have right here? Do you want some pico in there um, or maybe even on top? Instead of just having lime juice, do you want to... Um, I don't know. Do you want to do you want to switch things up a little bit? Do you want to use some clamato as well? Do you want to to use more of a um, some some orange? I've seen people put orange juice in their their uh, their with their limes. How do you want it? That is the great thing about about ceviche in general is the fact that that it's different everywhere you go and when you're making it at home you can make it however you want it so for this situation here i'm going to go ahead and use this end up being three limes i'm using about uh, i say about it's a little bit less um, as far as the clamato juice itself and basically it's going to take it to where the liquid just covers the overall Be using about half a, uh, I say half. Actually, it's a quarter of a of a large jalapeno, so probably about half of a small jalapeno. About a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. If you want to use fresh garlic, it definitely will be better. I don't have fresh garlic at the house with me here, so I'm using powder. Um, powder does blend easier, especially when you're trying to do it quickly, um, where fresh needs to kind of meld with the rest of the ingredients a little bit longer. I'm also going to be using uh, Maggie sauce. This stuff is amazing. Um, if you don't have Maggie sauce, just use kind of like a soy sauce or a, um, a little bit of teriyaki sauce. It definitely helps um, elevate all the flavors. So let me go ahead and give this a good stir. And you just kind of want to get everything coated a little bit and make sure it kind of sits there. Now, it doesn't hurt if you want to take this and um, make it up ahead of time. Honestly, I don't think I'd make it up the day before, but you could make it up a couple of hours before and definitely everything would be okay. Uh, 
I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use this for garnish. Here, this is pico. For those of you who don't know what pico is, pico is gonna be a mixture of cilantro and onion and tomato and normally some jalapenos. Um, and I'm not gonna really mix that up. I'm just gonna kind of leave it on top. If you want to um, to garnish with something, you can you can garnish with a pico, or you can garnish with some cilantro or something like that, especially if you're using it as a party. Um, let me go ahead and grab some chips over here. Give it a shot. See how it goes. Now, depending on where you're located at or your culture, um, chips, corn chips like this aren't necessarily normal. In Mexico, I have found that they use tostadas mainly for their ceviche. In, in my area here of Texas, they use crackers lots of times, um, just like regular saltine crackers. And whenever I was in Miami recently, they actually used a uh, plantain chips. So kind of the chips are up to you too, kind of whatever you want. So let me, let's give this a shot. It is really good. So you can kind of like, you can taste the, the, the onion coming through, of course, but you got a little bit of um, that jalapeno as well. Make sure all those ingredients, your, your onion and your celery and your jalapeno are very thin, um, very, very well chopped. Um, you want this to be able to go on your chip and not have huge chunks of anything. You want it just to really meld and just come together so as you're chewing through it, you get all those flavors uh, as well as the, uh, the, the texture to it as well. So um, this is... This is, this is really good. Um, so that is that is quick 30 minute ceviche. Um, actually, it took me less than 30 minutes. Um, but uh, nevertheless, if you're making this at home, figure about 30 minutes it, once you start defrosting the shrimp, because like I said, I use pre-cooked shrimp. They came frozen, I had to defrost them. And go ahead and chop up all your ingredients, put it all together, and there you go. You're ready to go for a party, or in just like in my case here, just for myself. So. Um, hope you enjoy it and uh, of course make it your own and I'm going to enjoy this um, well all by myself I will probably just eat the whole bowl so see y'all later